Okay, in this sixth episode of Modifying Move Suit Move, I'm going to go through how I've got my configuration from top to bottom, or bottom to top will actually do. Um, so, let's have a look here. At the bottom I've got a Neewa tripod, right? Um, I'd use the second position on the on the tripod legs. Most tripods have got these switches on the hinges that allow you to kick the legs out because what I want is stability. And by kicking those legs out to a wider angle, puts the feet up further apart, gives you much improved stability. I lose some height, but generally height's not really an issue when doing astro work. So I've got my uh, fine adjustment plate here which goes on the bottom of this older type of uh, wedge. Uh, so it was cheaper to get one of these guys for about $25 from AliExpress than it would be to get an entire geared head. And it gives you very fine adjustments. So it gives plus or minus five degrees. So as long as I get close with the wedge, I can find it, find it, in, it in very nicely with this. Okay, so then I've got the wedge itself, which seems to be a little bit offline there. I'll just move it over, there we go. <sighs> That goes up to my 3D printed bracket. So I've just got my 3D printed plastic piece there. So if I do end up with the camera over one side or the other, it's not going to twist the whole move suit move on this quick release plate. Right. Then I've got my polar alignment phone bracket on, on the back here, phone plate. Here I've got the quick release plate that's mounted onto the platform and that's with that locking screw that I described in, it in an earlier episode. I've got the Z plate from Move Suit Move and then at the top here, oh, let's go, then at the top here I've got a newer uh, low profile ball head. I find it actually works really well. Uh, it's got about a 10 or 15 kilo weight limit on it which is vastly more than we need of course. On top of that I have sitting at the moment my A6000. I usually use up my A6400 but I'm using that to film this. But what I'd like you to note is when I put that all together how nicely profiled that is vertically through through the axis of, of the tripod. So um, what I'll do is when I'm polar aligning I will align one leg of the tripod to the north or to the south because that way any any weight uh, imbalances that are going backwards and forwards because of this uh, the move to moves position is over a leg where it's got a long long uh, line from the center so that gives me the maximum stability I did uh, get some optional feet for this tripod so it comes with rubber feet, but it has a 3 8 thread in the bottom of the legs. And I've got some spikes. So I can use spikes if, I, if I'm on a nice solid surface. And they've got little rubber feet that go over the spikes. So I've got the fluoro on the dark uh, tape so I can see where my knobs are in the dark. And that's my setup. <laughs> 